Welcome to the Matt Beck Podcast, woke up this way He's got a lot of cool stuff he's gonna show you today The latest news, industry topics, and business tips For all hairstylists and salon owners, it's time to flip the script Grab your precision scissors, barber combs, and swivel twist razors Let's cut a bob, a quick shag, pixie cut with a little bit of flavor Check out the live classes, product reviews, let's rock on Don't forget to check out freesaloneducation.com I woke up this way It's gonna be a great day Chop it, clip it, spray it, flip it I woke up this way. It's going to- All right. Welcome to the show. I uh, got some fun things planned for you guys today. I uh, can't wait to share share it with you. Uh, so yesterday we had a really fun show. Uh, went over some different razor cuts. So today, uh, and towards the end of that conversation, we kind of got into uh, this moment in, in my life when I first started doing hair and I was super uh, confident in my abilities And I had just met my still to be my my wife now. Um, I had just met her and uh, she wanted a short haircut. And I said, hey, let's do it. And I did it and I messed it up real bad. So today, what I want to share with you guys is not only that story, but I want to share with you. I filmed yesterday uh, the step by step on how I would have done that haircut to get it right uh, if I could do it again now. So um Needless to say, I have not uh, cut her hair short since then, really. Uh, And yeah, so I'm going to show you guys the haircut. Um, I'm also going to show you what she wanted, what I gave her. I've got pictures and uh, and then we're going to get into the step by step tutorial. So welcome, guys. Good morning. What's up, Zena? Jean, good to see you. Hey, she woke up this way. Good for you. What's up, Donna? Uh, What's up, Lynn? What's up, Amy? Uh, Let's see. What do we got? Jennifer's on. If you guys are on, let me know in the chat. Love to see that. Also, do me a favor. Share the show on all the whoop, all these social platforms. These guys here. Boom. Uh, so if you're on YouTube, you can share it to Facebook if you want. Just hit the share button. If you're on Facebook, share it. Just hit share. It's super simple. Um, this is going to be some free education for all of you guys today. Uh, so all I ask is that you share the show and we grow the show together. I love seeing all of your familiar names in the chat. Um, I want everyone Instagram. I want everyone's Instagram. So Lynn wants to see everybody's Instagram handle. So if you could post that in the chat as well, why not? We can all start following each other uh, on there. Dina, good to see you. Uh, Let's see. Great topic for today. That's right, Jenny. You got it. So, um, again, this is going to be fun. We're going to have a lot of fun today. That's what it's all about. Uh, Stressful times in the industry, but education is kind of our outlet to just have fun, be creative, and learn something. Uh, So I'm glad that you guys are joining me today. Uh, I see all of you guys in the chat. It's blowing up. I get a click in my head every time you post something. So just keep posting. I love hearing that. Um, All right. So here's the story, right? And then we're going to get into the tutorial. So um, 2004, I moved a thousand miles away from where I grew up to pursue my hair career. I had just graduated hair school, um, had enough hours to move to Pennsylvania, moved near Philadelphia, uh, lived on a main street. So like uh, I lived on main street, I worked on main street. So I was about half a mile walk to work every day. Um, Didn't even have a car when I first moved here. Didn't have a phone, didn't have anything. Uh, Just a suitcase and uh, and, uh, you know, wanted to be a hairdresser. So, um, So I started working. And uh, I was out at a bar, local bar, loved doing karaoke there every Monday. Uh, It was kind of my way to meet people and just get out and have fun. And uh, this girl walks in and uh, right away, I don't even remember the guy I was hanging out with because I wasn't really friends with him. We just know each other for a very short time. And uh, I said, that girl is going to be my wife. And I was just probably having a couple cocktails and just saying things. Um, But later in the night, bought her a drink. And uh, we started talking. By the end of the night, she wouldn't give me her phone number because if you knew Christina, you know that she wouldn't give me her phone number for sure. Um, But (laughs) I gave her my phone number, but I didn't have a phone. I gave her the salon phone number. And then she didn't call me for a week. So again, if you know Christina, you know that she probably wouldn't call you for a week. So 
After a week on a Saturday morning, I check the messages, the salon voicemail, and I have a message from Christina. And kind of from then on, uh, for the last 16 years, we've been together. Uh, we built these businesses together. And um, we have a son together. He's 12. Uh, he's the best. Um, so three months into our relationship, I'm confident. I love cutting hair. I think I can do any haircut. I've studied. I've I've learned everything in a year and a year of doing hair school, right? So she says she wants this Kira Knightley haircut. So here is the cut that she asked for, right? So I'm going to throw these up on the screen. Uh, so this was, here's a version of it. This is Kira Knightley 2005, right? Um, so I'm like, yeah, no problem, right? That's, that's a simple haircut. And then here's another uh, look at it. So here is, this was like probably the one on this side is more of what she was. Actually, I think it was more this side. It's a little bit shorter on the sides. Um, disconnected. So that's kind of where everything went wrong, right? Uh, back then, I didn't know how to do disconnection. I didn't understand it. Um, so I connected everything. Uh, I just learned 90 degree haircuts and 180 degree haircuts, right? So, um, so, so yeah, so we're, so I, I do the haircut on her, right? And the funny thing is she hasn't met my family yet, right? Uh, she met my my parents and my brother and sister, I believe, but she hadn't met my friends and my friend was having a wedding. So we had to go to the wedding. So I have pictures of this haircut. Now it's not that bad, right? But it's not great. So let me see if it'll zoom in on her. So you can see, oh, oh, it's, it's a little hard to see, but you can see right there. Oh, let me back out a little bit. That it was more just like, a men's haircut it didn't have the disconnection it didn't have that kind of like finesse to it this messiness that you're seeing in these pictures uh it didn't have the disconnection so um so that's where so then i brought her home to see all my friends and i had really messed up her haircut and it wasn't great it wasn't it wasn't the, the highlight but she stayed with me everything's good and uh i've never cut her hair short again she's got super long hair now it's like down to here so uh <laughs> she's adult thanks len uh she is uh, girl walks in. Yes. Thank you, Lynn. Yeah, not bad. So Gene, so here's the deal. First off, that's, that's a good picture. And the, I couldn't find like, I don't think she let me take pictures of her. That wasn't right after the haircut. That was a little in grown in, right? So I cut it like, it was like this long on top by the time I got done. I just kept hacking at it and hacking at it. And it looks like she doesn't have a ton of hair there because I cut it all off, but she has the most hair of pretty much anyone I've ever cut. So, um, so yeah, it didn't, it did not go well. Uh, and I'm glad you guys, it wasn't horrible. I know, I know it wasn't horrible. The moment was horrible and the month prior was worse, but that's a pretty good picture. So it doesn't really do it justice, but here's the thing. When you guys are cutting hair and you get to that point where you're like in the cut and then you just start sweating because you know, it's not going right. And like, and there's no turning back. So you just have to keep cutting. Like that's what was happening then. And we've all, all of us have been there. So you guys know it. So the fun thing about today is that I've got a video planned for you guys um, that is going to showcase the cut that I should have done. That Kira Knightley looking cut with the disconnection. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Um, we're gonna use scissors and razors, uh, cool technique. So it's gonna be really fun. Uh, yeah, Lynn saying, I'm OMG, right? I totally understand the gut sinking feeling. Yeah, Ch Chanel, that's like, uh, that's the that pit of your stomach, that sweat that starts to drip down and you're like, yep, I didn't do this right. And there, and I, there's nothing I can do about it. All right, uh, my newly graduated cousin did the same thing to me. Yeah, Beverly, it happens. But this is the thing. If I wouldn't have, well... I'm not going to say that I've never would have learned this cut or tried to figure out what happened, but so many like things that you learn come from your mistakes, right? So we learn. So at that moment, I had to keep adjusting, keep trying to figure out how to fix it and get her to that style. And obviously it ate me alive because I didn't, I was so bummed, like super bummed that I messed up her hair and I didn't do it the way she wanted. So, um, so with that being said, you got to learn it. And that's how, that's what education is. And this is why when I talk about like, um, 
uh, people doing their hair at home or watching a YouTube video and then trying to cut their own bangs and all that stuff. Like that stuff doesn't bother me because I know that um, they're probably going to screw up one time and quit. And probably if they jack something up that bad uh, to where it really bums out a, a family member or like hair means a lot to people. So if they mess it up one time, they're never going to go back to doing it unless they love it like we love it. Um, and we jack it up and then we try to learn and we spend years jacking things up and learning and jacking things up and learning. Right. So um, that's the difference between somebody that takes this as a profession and why we can't be replaced in that way is because most people um, want somebody that they can trust with their hands and their hair because hair does grow back, but it takes a long time, right? So you want, you want somebody that can really, you know, be there for you and, and help you out. So <laughs> yeah, Gene's saying I do my own hair and I've screwed it up bad. I do my own hair too, uh, occasionally, especially right now. And, uh, you don't want to see the back. It's not good, but the front is fine. It's disconnect. <laughs> I'm great at disconnection now. Um, all right, let's see. It's a feeling you get when you accidentally grab cutting shears and you meant to use the thinning shears. <laughs> Jenny, that's funny. That's that's true. Post post your mess ups in the chat. Let's let's all own up to it. Uh, this will be a fun show just to just to see your story and what happened to you. And we'll talk about them. Um, remember, uh, as I play the video and as we start to learn uh, this technique today, I want you guys to post a Q before your question. So if you have a question, capital Q, then write the question so I can see it in the chat and I'll answer it as we go. Uh, obviously, this will be a live uh, voiceover for you guys as well. Um, so we're going to get started with the video. And let's see here. So let me pop over. Um, all right. So we're going to start off just by combing the hair back. Uh, again, if you guys have questions, let me know in the, in the, uh, chat, uh, Q. Yes, Jean. Very good. <laughs> Jean doesn't have a question, but she got the Q right. So now, uh, the way that I'm going to part the hair and I also edited this one. So it moves a little bit slower. So you guys can have, it can be more class-like and, uh, we can hang out together for a longer period of time and I can answer more questions. So the sectioning of this cut is, uh, at the parting. So I go from the parting back to the crown, and then I take a slice, a diagonal forward slice over to the edge, uh, right about the edge of the eyebrow. Um, and that's my section. It's almost like a triangle sitting on top. It's a weird shaped triangle, but it sits on top there. And on, as I spin it around, you'll see it comes to a point back in the crown where that calyx swirl kind of happens. Um, and then I'm gonna section off, and this is a key part. This is one of the things that I messed up for sure in Christina's haircut back in the day is that this piece is going to be a disconnection that we're going to mess around with later. So you section off from the parting down to that edge of the eyebrow as well. And I'll clip that away. Um, and those two sections are very important for the end result of this cut. Now, two things. I love seeing all everybody's mess ups. Uh, and I'll share some more of mine at the end. So I'm using the fine tooth uh, carving comb as my comb. I talked about this the other day, um, and I'm going to get more into it is using two tools at once, really three, I guess, if you count the comb as a tool. So I'm doing diagonal back partings, and then I'm taking the hair into my hand, bringing it back to the previous section, cutting diagonal back with the round of the head. So this is a round, uh, shape that we're creating because we're following the head shape. Uh, and I'm just working my way through there. Now, um, there's a couple things that I change up in this, uh, and you could do clip over comb if you wanted to, if you want to speed things up a little bit. I like working uh, within my hands because it just gives a, I can have more control of the shape, I feel like, in my uh, cutting it in my fingers. Um, my fingers follow the parting or the section. So as I section around the head shape, what I'm doing is my fingers follow the head shape as well. So I want to keep my fingers parallel to the parting. And we'll just work our way all the way back. So Blanca says she logged in late. What are we learning today? We're learning a pixie haircut uh, with disconnection on top. Uh, we're going to mix up some uh, different techniques and different tools. So we're going to use a razor. We're going to use scissors to create a really cool disconnected textured pixie. 
Uh, make sure that you go watch the beginning of the show later, though, because uh, then you'll really understand what the what this is all about. So, um, let's see. Okay, cool. I don't think there's... Is this going to be both? So Johnny's asking, is this going to be both uh, wet and dry cutting techniques? Yes, absolutely. So we're going to go in. Um, there's going to be some dry cutting for sure at the end, but because we use a razor towards the end of it as well, we're going to mix up uh, actual scissor cutting and then flip to razor cutting right after it. So it's like, it's going to be intermixed. So it creates a lot of texture without having to do a ton in the dry cut, but we will do dry cutting as well. And Johnny, welcome to the chat, bud. Thanks for being here. Um, and if you guys want to know, there's somebody in here asking Odette, uh, Johnny's on Facebook, but Odette's asking how to do the perfect fade. Go follow Johnny, uh, J cash underscore the hair tech on, uh, Instagram and start asking him questions because he, he's the master of that. Um, all right. So I'm continuing to work back now where it's going to change is right around the, the back of the head, right above occipital bone. Um, I'm going to flip it into a stationary guide. So as of right now, it's been traveling all the way back and we're working diagonal back all the way through this section. But then at this point, I believe it's right here. You'll notice that I start bringing everything just to, to this stationary guide and the whole entire back section is going to come to that point. What is that going to do for me? If you want to post in the chat what you think, um, anytime you over direct hair, um, it starts to push the weight away from you, right? So it starts to build length, which in turn creates weight uh, and structure. So what I want to do is not collapse the crown. And this is a great technique for not only this haircut, but in men's cutting as well, when you're trying to build uh, weight within the crown of the head and not take, you know, where some people, they take the round off and there's no weight buildup. So it doesn't look balanced. This is a great way to create that balance and build up that weight in the back crown. So everything's being overdirected over, and then you'll start to see that length. See how it's getting longer? Um, I just keep taking those diagonal sections, bringing them over to me, and it, the hair keeps coming from further away, so now it gets longer and longer. Let's see if there's any questions here. Do you use the razor primarily on top? Yes, Tiffany, uh, I do. So I'm using it as a comb right now um, because it is a comb. But if I was working with a thicker density, I might use the razor during this part to take out a little bit of that weight. Um, but because this isn't super thick uh, in this particular case, I'm not using it for that. I'm just using it as a comb. But I will use more of the razor on the top. I'll use it a lot, actually. Let's see. Cool. All right. I think we're, I think I got it. <laughs> Gene, I had a cue, but not, but no answer. What is your cue? Post it again. I saw cue and then I didn't see anything else. Just cue and then your question, write it at, in the same line. <laughs> and then, then I can uh, see it and answer it. All right. So we're just continuing back. Again, I, I did this a little slower so we can keep the chat going. And I really want you guys to see every step of the way, but I don't have to talk through this entire thing because we're just repeating, but I'm bringing it back to the previous section. It gets a little tricky uh, in this back corner because a lot of us want to pull the hair towards us, which is why this becomes my weak side. So uh, I've talked about this in other videos where um, I have a weak side and I have a strong side. This is my weak side because my elbow has to be up when I'm cutting this um, part of the head uh, as opposed to being down. But as I'm working around as well, it gets a little bit tighter in my hands to have to work into that corner. And I tend to want to bring the hair to myself, which lowers my elevation a little bit and makes it sometimes tend to be a little bit heavier on that side. So as I go through, I'm just trying to be very cautious and I work this section through uh, this corner, but then you'll see that I go backwards and I cross check it because that helps ensure that the weight is going to be uh, the same on both sides. So I'll show you that in a second. All right. Jean, Jean's questions up. Does this technique prevent lump behind the ear? 
Yeah, I would say yes. Um, I, I've never really had a challenge with the lump behind the ear, but it definitely keeps it nice and even. So I would think anytime you get a lump behind the ear or thickness behind the ear, I would say that that's probably because of over direction um, and elevation. So uh, maybe you're not elevating the hair enough or you're not following the head shape enough. Um, so just make sure that you stay consistent with that. This is my cross check coming backwards. So now I'm kind of connecting everything together. So you'll see, um, I'm just, I'm drawing a point. All this hair should be the same length at this point. So all of this should follow right along with the guideline. What's up TM, welcome. All right, so now I'm gonna move into the front right uh, temple area. Now, what I'm doing here is I, I've cut the bottom back. So now I'm just connecting these two points. Um, so a lot of people might be asking, well, how, how do I make sure that I have the same length on both sides? What I do is I cut the first section and then I, I stand in front of her and I check to make sure that both sides are the same or at least look the same and look balanced. And then I move on to the rest of the cut and then I connect that front and the back um, after that. So that's, that's the key for me is just making sure that my eye sees it as the same lengths. Now, I think sometimes in haircutting, we get too uh, focused on them being exact. Now, not everybody's head is the same on both sides, right? So that, and even densities are a little bit different sometimes. So um, don't be so particular in the fact that it does it exactly match up. Just make sure to your eye, it looks good and balanced, and then you can move on. Here you go, Johnny. I'll do it for you. I'll put it up there. All right. So um, I'm continuing through the back. And then now I'm going to move into that stationary guide again. And my shoulders, of course, going to get kind of in the way. So I want to build that V shape is what I'm basically saying here. So I, I already did it on the one side. I brought everything over to that stationary guide. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side, bringing everything over to this stationary guide, which will create that V shape. So now a lot of you guys um, ask on the internet about creating a V shape. Well, here's one way to do it. Overdirect everything to one side, cut it. Overdirect everything back to the other side, cut it. And you end up with your heaviest point in the center. Uh, and that gives you that V shape, that V build up in the back. <laughs> I think she came over to Facebook. That's hilarious. All right. So there we go. Bringing everything over, cutting it nice and blunt. Uh, and now I, I also want you guys to see that I am cutting it blunt. So when I go through it with a carving comb after I'm going to do a little bit of razoring to texturize it. So you're going to see that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my hand up into the hair and just do a back and forth motion with the carving comb, which is going to add texture to it. Uh, it's going to take out some pieces, not a lot, and it just removes some of that weight in there. So I, if I want to create a little texture, a little movement, it's kind of like point cutting, just go through there, whip that razor back and forth, and it removes some of the weight. We're gonna do that technique some more uh, as we get into the top. So now I'm gonna let the top down. Um, you can see that disconnection's already happening, which is what didn't happen when I cut Christina's hair back in the day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring everything back to me. Uh, what I did on her cut back then, I followed too far up the head shape and connected it to the side. And that's where it became very rounded and it didn't look great. So what I've learned since then is the power of disconnection and how it can really look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across with my scissor, cut a blunt cut. Then I'm going to go through with my razor and do that point cutting technique on the top to break it up and give it a more organic lived in feel. So I go across, cut it blunt, and then I'm going to recomb it. And now I'm using the carving comb wide just to get the wide teeth of the comb. And I go back and forth with the carving comb and take out that weight. And you can see how broken that line gets, which creates a ton of really awesome texture in this cut. So again, we talk about my personal style. My personal style is doing a precision feel to the cut and then going in and uh, breaking it up, creating the texture. So you have texture on top of precision, which looks really cool to me. It's my, my favorite thing. So over directing everything back to a stationary guide. Again, 
uh, cutting with my scissor first to get that bulk off of there and to create kind of a nice blunt line to it. And then going through with the carving comb wide and wipe, swiping it, wiping it, uh, swiping it back and forth and it creates texture. It cuts on both sides of the razor guys. So there's a hundred percent cutting side and a 50% cutting side. So as you're swiping back and forth, you're cutting on both angles. Let's see if you guys have a question, Chanel saying that's cool. I've never seen that before. Perfect. Good deal. Um, creating a new feminine shape in the haircut. I love it. Awesome. Thanks, Jenny. All right. So you can see the disconnection, how it comes over top. And now we're going to do the same thing to the weak side here. Uh, this is our part side. So I'm just going to get the length off of this cut. And then I'm going to go through and uh, do the point cutting technique with the razor again. Hair ninja. Hair ninja. Nice. All right. So I bring everything back to that stationary guide. I grab a piece from the back as my guide. And then I just work that uh, razor back and forth. It's a lot of fun to do this technique, but also really effective. So now you're going to see that disconnection fall over top. It's obviously long, but that's when we go through with the hundred percent carving side and we cut through it. So that's going to create that disconnection. Some of it I'll leave for the dry cut. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side there. Uh, and now we're going to start to work in a little bit of product. So we're going to use the Joyco Defy Damage. Uh, this is a protective shield. Um, it's a bond protecting product, uh, also heat protectant. And then I go in with uh, a little bit of foam and I put that through the haircut as well. That'll give me a little bit of control, nice hold. And I blow it dry using a flat wrap technique, a little bit of leafing. Um, obviously with a mannequin, I'm pushing that hair down a little bit so it's not sticking straight out. Um, but a little bit of leafing, pull that through the hair. Um, and then I'll hit it with an iron at the end. Christina is so lucky she has a husband that can fix it. Gene, true, but I couldn't fix it then. So all I had to do is I screwed it up 16 years ago. And if she just would have waited till now, I could have fixed it. <laughs> so now this goes back to the messy with precision. So I wanted to go through the hairline and really define the hairline using that point cutting technique that we've cut on all our uh, graduations and different things like that, creating that outer perimeter line. Uh, so I wanted a more perfect line. You don't have to do that. You could have it a little messier. Um, I know that this Kira Knightley haircut here um, definitely has a little bit messier edges to it. Um, but if you wanted to pull it into this, you know, 2020 time frame, I think a lot of haircuts have that precision look to them, which is kind of cool. Not all of them. Actually, I take that back a little bit because I feel like people um, put their twist on everything now and there's not one style fits all at this point. Um, so now look how that disconnection swipes across the face. So what I'm going to do is just go in pinch cut with the razor. So I grab a little bit of it and, uh, just pinch the hair, wipe a swipe. Why do I keep saying wipe the razor? That's not the right terminology. So I grab, I pinch the hair and I go through and I just softly etch in that line using the razor. Now I'm going 50% cutting side. And just sliding through, you can see how it starts to break it up. Uh, there's nothing cooler to me than like a disconnection and then just soft hair falling over top of it. And now we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side, 50% cutting side, cutting it down, sliding that razor through. And then softly working that edge again, putting a little precise line into it, but keeping that texture throughout the haircut. Better to clean it up. I like I like that comment. So Tessa's saying uh, it's better to clean it up because it will grow in messy anyway, which is totally true. Uh, so light hairspray going through uh, here, and you will see. Turn me off a little bit. You'll see the uh, just using that light hairspray to pull that texture in, um, and then an iron to flip out those pieces, those disconnected pieces uh, throughout it, and. That's pretty much the final look. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the chat. Uh, how do you feel about this cut? I'm um, just going to do a little detail work into the back there. 
Uh, is this something that you feel like you can use in the salon? Let me know. Gene's saying gorgeous. Thank you, Gene. Um, let's see. Super cute. Love your cuts. Thank you so much. Love this one, Snowden. Cool. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Very cool. All right. I'm popping back, popping back over here. Right here. Here we go. All right. So what do you guys think? Seems like you like it. I'm glad you like it. I think Christina would have liked this, <laughs> this uh, end result uh, for sure. Uh, at least more than the one I did 16 years ago. So uh, awesome. Love it. Everybody's seeing it coming through. Love this look. My coworker would love this. Awesome. I like it. Would love it on me. All right. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Pinky. You know what I love? I love seeing all of your comments uh, in the chat. You guys are the best. I'm glad you liked that video. What I want to do now is I want a Q&A. Let's do a little Q&A uh, session for a little bit. I also want to share some of your work from the community. Um, also, really excited for the fact that um, coming up, I've got uh, um, an app. It's in review right now. The new app update. Uh, the app runs faster. It loads faster. Um, there's a new way to upload um, photos and your uh, text. So I'll show you guys that as well. Um, Thank you guys. All right. So so Johnny's asking. So I'm going to start going through your guys' questions. Let's do a little Q&A session. Um, also want to see here what's going on. All right. Cool. So uh, let's see. Let me do this. All right. So Jason Everett's texting me. He's got some breaking news. So maybe we'll get him on here. Uh, Jason, let me see if I can just have him Skype me in. I'll say I'm Skyping him in. Let's see if we can pull him in here. And you guys start posting your questions because I'm going to answer those uh, as well. Uh, let me see if I can. This is our new software, so we'll see if this works. Oh, click here. Jason, there he is. Let's see if I can call him. Yeah. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah, he's here. Hang on. All right, buddy. Hang on. We're going to bring you in. No problem, dude. This is hilarious. <laughs> All right, let me just make sure you're looking at... I'm staring at the back of your camera. <laughs> I, know. I know, I see that. It won't let me pull in the other camera. That's okay. Oh, good, man. I'm not worried. You can hear me, right? You're, you're a pro. Yeah, I can hear you. All right, here it is. Let's see if I can... Oh, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me move you over here. Oh, look at that. And let me add me in here. Oh, that's me over there. That's not right either. You know what's hilarious about this whole thing hmm. is that uh, everyone's watching us do this, which is the best. But I got to figure ah, out. Dude, that is my favorite on planet <laughs> Earth. Uh, let me set me up. This is the thing that happened to me last time. And you're a professional at this uh, this software, I think. When I dude, you're, you, you will be the fastest pro ever. You learn <laughs> everything. You're like a ninja. You're like uh, Neo in the Matrix where it's like, Matt Beck is, now knows Kung Fu. <laughs> like, that's the truth. You could just go in and dominate anything, well, in my opinion. I appreciate that. But how do I get you in here? Uh, there's, see, I got you and I got me. But why why don't I have both at the same time? Uh, you got it. So up in the top left corner, there's a little plus button. So once you're on one of us, put the plus in the top left corner or the top right corner. Add the plus and put it side by side. I know. That's what I did. Well. These are the things. Oh, there bro. it is. We're side by side, but then, but we're out. There of, you go. But we're out of the thing, though. <laughs> How do I? Like we're. I, out, I, I love. It's learning half, in real time. It's half of you, half of me. So like, how do I fix that? 
Do I have to stand to one side of my camera? Does that help? <laughs> Does this help? Uh, oh, this is the best. Right. This is the best, but not the best. All right, let me see. You know. How do I... It's so funny, because, like, it's literally... I can click you, I can click me. Is there a way to, like... Weird. Oh, wait, there's there's the Skype one. I can do that, and then I just hit you. I'll just do this for now, because this is both of us. All right, we're we're on here. I get what you were saying, but I was trying to set up, like, one that had, like, cool background and everything. I don't know. Oh, you were... Oh, I see. I see the cool background you're trying to do... Yeah. Yeah. You gotta you gotta make it happen, bro. These yeah. are these are the things. We'll <laughs> test we'll test more, but in the meantime, yeah. we'll give Matt Beck show the cool deservedness that it deserves. Yes. All right. So um you have some breaking news. So what we want to talk about real quick and what you were just texting about is salons yeah. are opening throughout the country. Um obviously That's not right. not all of us and PA is gonna be a while, but um, California, same thing, bro. California and New York are, are in a world of hurt for a little bit. Yeah, it's crazy. But um, so what are you what are you hearing uh, on the streets right now with uh, all of that stuff going on? Yeah, well, I think there's some interesting things going on. Uh, and by the way, if you guys are open, do me a favor and comment in the comment section and say if you're open or if you have a opening date, comment with your date. And if there's no sign of future opening like California, like do me a favor and comment down. Uh, but yeah, what I'm seeing that's really interesting, Matt, just a couple things that I thought kind of were surprising that I just wanted to share with you guys that I think a lot of people are not understanding and I think are, is kind of an important thing to be aware of yeah. is there's a lot of salons out there that have not had any communication with their team and they kind of just put their team on pause and now they think their team's going to come back and be a normal team. And I want to just drop out something that's I think it really important is you need to rehire your previous team and treat them like they're new employees. Yeah. Like – I think this is a really important thing that a lot of people are missing because what I'm seeing over and over again is salons are kind of reopening and trying to figure out exactly what's happening and what's going on. And and honestly, there's people like their salons are kind of imploding. So I wanted to kind of give this as a warning okay. is that, you know, people are just reopening their doors. Salons are kind of imploding. A lot of people are, you know, they're working 10 hours a day behind a mask and they're trying to figure out like how comfortable they are. And there's all these new challenges. Like I think I've got this screenshot. I was going to pull up this. I want to read this gal. She said, it's my second 10 hour day in a mask. Yeah, I'm complaining. My throat is so sore I can barely swallow. My chest muscles hurt from having to work. Like, check this out. For, for work and pull in air. My ears sting like hell. My freaking nose is chapped. I can actually still feel the damn thing on my face. Right? Yeah. But the worst part is, is how you behave in a mask. I'm finding it harder and harder to look people in the eye. I don't know if it's because I feel like a total dork in the mask, but it's just flat out promotes me hiding. Also, I'm a little snarky. Uh, I feel mean in the mask and I can't track where it's coming from. I think there's like this whole thing that's going on is that people in masks are starting to feel a little weird and like they're kind of they're having yeah. to reinvent themselves in this new salon environment. And while this gal's kind of complaining about where she's at, I would just say don't underestimate the little things if you're going back to the salon environment. Don't underestimate all the little things that'll make a big difference in your life being more comfortable inside the salon. For does sure. that make sense, Matt? Yeah, yeah, it definitely does. And um, so one of my – and everybody out there, just so you guys know, Jason Everett, uh, I've had him on the show a lot, but those of you guys that are new and watching and everything, um, Jason owns High Performance Salon Academy. It's a uh, business coaching company uh, for so commission salons. Um, yep. And you've been – you know, you've been on the forefront of this thing. Like you've been doing live streams a lot, business live streams, talking to a lot of people. So it's cool that you can jump on here and, you know, we can go back and forth. Um, but fo yeah. follow High Performance Salon uh, on everything if you can. Um, so a lot of people are, are commenting and posting. I think it's really interesting what you're saying about the uh, um, just salons in general uh, wearing the mask. Like I, I know that I haven't had to work all day in a mask yet. I've literally only right. been into a grocery store for maybe 15, 20 minutes at a time uh, max with a mask on. Um, my, right. my wife was out yesterday. She does more of the massive grocery shopping. Um, but she like, you know, you get home and you're just exhausted. So I can only imagine, uh, you know, nurses and doctors and everybody that's wearing masks all day long. Um, yeah. and now hairdressers, uh, that it, that just like being at the checkout counter and having to, he's like, how's, how are you doing? And I'm like, I'm fine. You know, like I'm screaming, <laughs> I'm screaming through the mask. Like, yeah, you know, totally. I can only imagine when I'm like. I'm going to come no, in no, 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 no. <laughs> Exactly. And I can only imagine when I have to talk to my clients and do a consultation yeah. and, you know, everybody wants With to With blow hear. dryers and all the other chaos uh, yeah, is going on inside yeah. the salon, right? 
Yeah. And I didn't even honestly, until you said that, didn't even think about it. So, um, yeah, you know, it's just something that like, I know everybody's in a rush to get open and I see, I like, I, I know a lot of people are struggling and, um, you know, it's really sad, but like at the same time, you know, hearing the stories of people opening, it's just, it's really intense. Um, and yeah, you know, I, I think, I think the important thing, Matt, is that there's a lot of brave people out there right now that are trying to figure it out. They're going first. And, you know, Georgia was the first state to open up and then all the other states are starting to follow. But I think, you know, I've been seeing all these hot tips and, you know, it's it's things like, you know, making sure that for stylists, like I know there's some fancier masks you can get that are over ear that like kind of look cooler, yeah. but making sure they have back ties for stylists. So it's not just going over their ears and burning because the elastic's going to rub on the back of your ears. But for stylists, have masks that tie in the back or uh, get clips that kind of go over the back to hold them off your ears. This is some of the things I've seen. I've also seen because, uh, you know, I've got my giant hair rock with me right now right like people <laughs> clipping it into their hair so that that you know they're using bobby pins to get it off their ears and dude here's one of the best tips that my business partner gave that i think is really helpful is like practice wearing a mask like dude wear a mask in the house for eight hours yeah just be if you're if you're not going to work right now wear the mask in eight hours uh, in your house and just see kind of what you have to experience and like this is like, i know this sounds crazy but like do a little training Get ready for it. Like, don't let your day in the salon be the first day that you're figuring out with your guests, like sitting right next to you and and trying to figure out how do you talk. Because I think at the salon, there's a lot of like lip reading that happens with the mirrors. Like, I know it is for me, right? You make so much eye contact with your guest in the mirror. And when it's like you go down to this like reduced, you know, space of like how it's working, it, it feels very awkward. And I would just encourage you to make more eye contact and more connection with your guests that's sitting in the chair uh, and, and have an even deeper connection because I think it makes a big, big deal. For sure. uh, if you practice, how do you engage? And talk to your staff about it, right? How do you make sure, and again, if you're in a team-based environment like we teach and train in, there's a big deal about being able to talk to your staff and say, guys, how can we wink more at our staff? Like I know it sounds silly, but like how do we wink more or like raise our eyebrows more? Or, like yeah. how can we in engage with people in ways that make them feel comfortable also? Very cool. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. Sir, so first off, These are the <laughs> thank you for jumping on. Of course. Second, no delay in our conversation. Hey. Ecam is the best. Like a T boss. Telling you. So Jason's like, um, if I need if I need information that that I like, he's just thought more than I have in certain things. Like I'm a mover. <laughs> I'm a mover. Certain things. Yeah. In certain things. I'm a mover, but I'm I'm using software that's costing me like hundreds of dollars a month. And Jason's like, no, I'm using this this uh, eCam software. It's so awesome. You know, you should try it out. And I'm like, eh, I'm using 200. You know, I'm using. Matt snobbed me. Let's let's call that. He said he, Matt's a little bougie on his software. I'm let's a be honest. Bougie. I am. I'm very bougie in technology <laughs> stuff. So totally. so now I'm like, I'm in love, man. Like I can see everybody's comments. I can pull you in on uh -huh. Skype. Like this is the, this. You're is getting it. transcriptions in real time, bro. I'm watching like the magic. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's awesome. All right, man. Well. I know you got to run, but uh, anytime, yeah, please. Good. I love the text. Thanks uh, for doing that and jumping on here. You're the best. Yeah, dude, thanks for letting me pop in. I just wanted to kind of give an update of, you know, things that are going on in the space as I'm hearing things. I want to drop it out for your people because I, I just know you've got such a great community of people that are that are learning and living. And if I can do anything to make their lives better, dude, anytime, I, hopefully I'll just keep popping little messages over to you and I'll pop in and give you some new details thanks, about man. what life is like. Cool. We still need that uh, news intro. For you, when you. I know. When you I, I, I sent it out to my team. I haven't got it back, but I'll get right. it back right away. All right. All right. All right, cool. man. All right, man. Talk I'll to see you. Soon, dude. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. That was easy. I mean, it wasn't easy right away, but like you guys hung in there and, and you're the best and I appreciate that. I uh, hope that that information um, helps you guys for sure. So I want to get back to the Q&A. There was some questions. I was seeing some cues. Uh, if you guys have a question, obviously we've done the pixie cut already. Uh, those of you guys tuning in late, just rewind it later. Um, we did the cut. Now I just want to do a little Q&A session with you guys and go over some things. And I also want to share uh, some of your looks from the community app uh, FSE Now. If you guys don't know what the community app is, what FSE Now is, then check this out. Check it out.
that's the new app guys fse now is available on the app store and we have an update just submitted uh it's waiting in review that usually takes a few hours uh to get the approval uh but we have a brand new version coming out an updated version that's even faster um obviously the the user experience is really important and christina and i have been working towards getting it to work faster and, and more fluent and uh that was definitely one of the challenges. So if you guys have experienced that, we're fixing it. Um, had to drink some coffee during that break. Um, so let's see. Uh, so go download the app. You can do it uh, as soon as the show's over. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some work from that and show you the community on there in a minute. Um, looking for some cues in here. If you have a question, type Q, capital Q, and then put your question right after it um, so that I can see it as I scroll through the chat. It's so much easier. Um, let's see. I know I had a question. I think it was from Lynn. Um, okay, here's a good one. And then I'll get Lynn's question too. Uh, so is there a way to like or comment back on people's comments in the app? Yes. So that is definitely a feature. I believe it's on this one. Um, you can like it and comment. Um, you, can, you can't like people's comments, but you can reply to people. You can also send private messages. So let me show you guys um, here. Look, Jason, text me. Um, we'll go to that later. Um, sorry, Jason. So when you're in the community, this is the community here. So I can comment if I just hit comment uh, like this. It opens up. That's her, that's her comments. Oh, if I want to add a comment, I go right here and then I start typing in a comment and I can post that to her. Um, let's actually be a, a beautiful. Gosh. So then I post that and that goes out to her. Um, you can see that comment shows up there. I can like the uh, photo here. And uh, then when you look at somebody's page, so like, let's go to Tessa, cause Tessa's built a beautiful page uh, on the app. I'm super impressed with it. This is kind of, this was ideal. This is what we wanted the whole thing to look like. So you can see her work, the gallery, all of this stuff, uh, her information. Um, so you can book appointments with her, all of that stuff. And then um, eventually when clients go see her and everything you'll see the reviews and all of that and if i want to send tessa a message as a stylist to stylist just to ask her questions or uh just say hi say what's up um this is a communication tool for stylists as well also if a client sends you a message from stylist locator it will show up here as well so um, you'll see it if, if they want to know something about their hair, they want to talk to you about an appointment, you'll get all your messages in the messaging uh, center, which is on the app. So all you have to do is click those uh, speech bubbles up at the top. That'll take you to your messages. Um, also, if you click on the triangle down at the bottom, that takes you to all of our videos and you can watch any of the latest uh, cutting, coloring, all of that videos on the app as well. So this is FSE now. And if you want to post, um, you can post just text if you want, if you just want to post a question to the community, or uh, you can post a photo by clicking on the photo, going to your gallery and pulling up any of the current images that you have on your phone uh, that you want to share. So um, that's it, guys. It's pretty cool, pretty simple. Um, and everybody's doing beautiful work on there. I love seeing um, everybody's work every day, just going through it. Uh, seeing what you guys out there, the community of FSE and what you guys are doing and all the beautiful work that you're posting. Um, so thank you guys for that as well. Very, very cool stuff. And it builds you a portfolio on Stylus Locator so that people can find you, clients can find you uh, eventually as well. Yep, I got a lot of stuff on my phone. Okay, so back to the Q&A. Um, why is there no blow drying? That's a good question, uh, Snowden. So I, I, um, here's the, here's the biggest thing with the blow drying. They're saying that, uh, some States are banning blow dryers currently right now, uh, because what's happening is the blow dryer, just like if you go to, you know how they were saying in the bathroom, like those hand dryers, they say not to use them anymore, basically because there's no filtration system in them. So they just pull in germs and then blow them out on your hands. It's pretty gross. Um, blow dryers are kind of the same thing. So they pull in the air and they blow it out uh, and they spread uh, germs. So um, 
you know, there might be some advancements come out of this in blow dryers, but as of right now, they're just banning them in some states. So um, that's the current situation right now. Um, I got that one. Just looking for questions, guys, real quick. Um, I was way up. Best cuts for wavy hair. Cut and go. So, Susan, uh, you know, this is a hard question because it depends on what kind of wavy hair the person has. It depends on the density of their hair. Um, so, how thick is their hair? What Do they want layers? Do they not want layers? So, there's not really the best cuts. So that's like a really hard question. But if there were pictures or something, so like if you submit, this is what I would recommend. Um, if you're a stylist, hopefully you're a stylist. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter if you're a stylist or not, but if you're a stylist, download FSE now, post a picture of something that some type of hair that you're looking for and ask a question like what would be the best haircut for this? Um, and then I can pull it up and I can even create a video about it. I can pull it up on the show or something like that. Um, that's a good way to do it. If you're a client or if you're not a stylist, go to stylislocator.com. Um, you can look me up on there and you can send me a message through Stylist Locator, uh, a picture of your hair. If like you um, have a question about your hair uh, and send that through Stylist Locator as a message and we can go back and forth. I, I would love to do that. Um, and it would help me with the app as well. So um, you can find me uh, zip code 18938, 18938. Just look me up and you'll see my profile on there. Um, all right. Let's see. So Blanca, this is a good question. Will the app let you post before and after pictures at the same time versus one after the other? So here's what I would say. Um, I didn't put bef the functionality of before and after photos in the app um, because that wasn't a thought process that I had. And the reason for that is I don't love before and after photos. I don't think before photos belong uh, in many places. Um, but if you wanna post it on the app, what I would say is for now, post a side-by-side -side image um, that you can edit in like frame or something like that. And then, or uh, just post the after for now. And I'm sure we'll get a slideshow functionality put into the app. Um, these are just kind of like the steps that we're taking. So as we grow the app, um, there'll be new features and that's probably a feature that would, would be coming. And Based on how many times I get asked that question, I think that'll probably come faster and faster. So, um, all right. Jenny's saying, would you recommend flat ironing after a dry cut then detailing if we can't blow dry? Um, would you recommend flat ironing after a dry cut then detail? I think um, if you can't blow dry, um, I my recommendation because I only think you're not going to be able to blow dry for hopefully a few months. I don't think it's going to be forever. Um, even if it's six months, uh, what I would say is don't do either do dry haircuts, uh, which is something that I've been posting a lot of dry haircuts because I think that's going to be reality. So if somebody wanted something a little more precise, I would do their entire haircut dry. Um, because then I could do that d detail work on the outer perimeter. And I'm totally cool with um, doing the tease cutting technique or something like that that gets me the end result that I'm looking for. Then I can go in and do point cutting around the edges and, and create a really defined line. Um, I think those kind of haircuts are going to be a little more rare uh, over the next course of time. So I think we're going to do a lot of wet cuts and maybe rebook them. Like this is a thought that's kind of coming out of nowhere right now. But my thought would be, Maybe I cut their hair and then maybe they come back the next day or they come back, you know, in a few days. And that could be either not necessarily an additional service, but maybe um, depending on how you wanted to go about it, depending on how much time it takes. But if they come back and they have dry hair, then I can detail it some more. Um, so I don't know if clients are going to want to do extra visits, but for those special clients that want those specific haircuts, maybe you do that wet cut and then you don't worry about blowing it dry send them home, rebook them for a few days later and get them back in and do the dry detail work uh, on their dry hair. Just a thought. Um, let's see. <laughs> Gene. Matt got stars. Yes, tip jar. I don't even know what that means, uh, but 
I, I know there's like a star functionality. I don't really know what it is. Um, and no one's ever put stars in there. So I don't even know. I don't really know what it is, but uh, it's a new thing on Facebook. They allow stars or something. Uh, people can purchase stars and then give you stars. I don't know. But um, go get a carving comb if you want to spend some money. Get Walk away with something. It would be my recommendation. But if you put stars in there, you're awesome. And I really appreciate it. And I can't wait to send you a thank you message. All right, um, Q from Stephanie. Uh, Pixies with disconnections sometimes confuse me when it comes to the whirl and the crown. Uh, do you have any advice to proper sectioning and weight? So if you notice when I did the Pixie today, and let me pull up the video. Um, just go to resume. Oh, not that video. Not that video. Pixie, here it is. All right, so let me uh, move my way over here to the sectioning. So you can see, here's where I show sectioning. So right about there, that's the whirl. So where that point comes in the back, that's the whirl that happens. So I, the whole top part, that triangle is where the disconnection is gonna be. There's not gonna be disconnection in the whirl, right? So that's how I, that's how I uh, fix that problem is I just make sure that I don't section off into the world because I want to cut that world and connect that. I want that part connected. I don't want to disconnect something that's going to go crazy anyways. Uh, and then that's how I do it. Hope that helps. Um, let's go back to this. Okay. God, this software is great. Um, let's see. Da, da, da. Now they're saying the AC is a problem. Imagine working with no AC. I don't think you have to work, Susan, uh, with no AC, but um, you may have to get a filtration system, um, which is something that even like at our house, we, we don't have a filtration system. Well, I mean, we do whatever the, um, the normal filters are that all of us have for the most part, but um, we, put, we have put filters on the actual vents as well, just to help, you know, protect from, you know, the, the air circulating, you know, and dust and all that stuff. So you may have to install some kind of little system to go with it. I don't know if it's little or not, but, um, uh, let's see. Any other questions? Yeah. Lisa's saying AC should have maintained filters. Yeah, totally true. All right, cool. Uh, any other questions? Oh, Q. Yep. Can you guys in the, uh, in the chat, if you have a question, uh, post them because I'm going to, I'm going to be jumping off pretty soon. Uh, and I want to get to all your questions. Obviously we got tomorrow as well, every day at uh, 12 o'clock noon Eastern time. Uh, I'm live on here. So Carol's asking, can you demonstrate an asymmetrical cut? I'm actually, the funny thing is tomorrow, um, doing an asymmetrical cut. So, uh, I filmed it yesterday and I'm going to put it out tomorrow for you guys which should be really fun. It's an asymmetrical bob. Let me grab it real quick, one sec. Okay, here it is. So it's an asymmetrical bob. It's pretty messed up right now and it's warped because this camera's weird, but you can see the line, the bob, the graduation, the asymmetry. Uh, is that something that you guys want to uh, learn tomorrow? Let me know in the chat. Uh, I can go through it and that would be fun. Um, so let me know. If not, I can do a different cut. So if you wanna see something else, you wanna see something else, I'll do that tomorrow. We can do something else on tomorrow's Thursday, Friday. Uh, we can have fun on Friday. Um, let's see. So let me know. Gene's saying yes. Very cool. All right. Um, yes, and a wedge. Snowden, you're, you're totally right. I have to cut a wedge. I haven't done that yet. Um, ended up focusing on that pixie yesterday. Uh, I'll do a wedge as well. Maybe I can get a wedge cut today as well, and we can do both. That would be crazy, but um, let's see. And Lynn's saying wedge as well. All right, all right, all right, all right, everybody. Um, Glennis Curly Bob. I like that too. Um, that would be a pretty fun one. 
I get lost in those cuts, create holes, etc. Okay, very cool. Um, definitely focus on that. Would you be able to? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Both my Facebook pages are open to the public. All right. John A. Uh, yes, I would love to. I love that all of you guys were sharing your uh, social media in the chat today. That was awesome. That's a good touch um, because then you guys can start hanging out and, and uh, liking each other's work. That's what building this community is all about. Um, long layer cut. Uh, Gerda? I'm not sure if that's Gerda. I'm just going to say it quiet because <laughs> I'm not sure if it's right. Uh, long layer cut. I, we're totally going to do that. I actually uh, I have a mannequin ready to cut something like that soon. Um, plus I, I don't want to just do bobs because then everybody just calls me, says I'm the Bob guy or whatever. And then it just doesn't work. Um, you gotta, you gotta change it up. Long layer haircut, please. Xena, you got it. I did do, um, a long layer haircut yesterday. So if you watch yesterday's show, you'll see that with a razor. Um, but we can do something with scissors too. Um, thank you, Laura. All right, cool. You guys are the best. I don't think there's anything left to uh, to do today. Um, I do uh, just ask you guys um, if you didn't hit it yet, because I know some of you guys don't hit the share button. I know because I get done and we've had 8,000 views and 34 shares. So please, please, all you got to do is share. To any of, I gotta get better at that. Any of these platforms here, just share and get involved in the chat. And then that makes every day doing this the best. You guys blew it up today. We had a thousand comments um, on the chat today. So you guys killed it. Um, also, one thing that would be great is if you guys could share this show in your favorite hairdresser forum on Facebook. That would be a big one too. Uh, because those hairdresser forums, groups, people see that stuff more. Uh, so if we're going to grow this thing and we're going to keep it going, uh, that's a good way to do it as well. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to get out of here because I don't want to bore you anymore. We did a lot of Q&A today. We'll do more Q&A tomorrow. We'll cut an asymmetrical bob. It'll be really fun. Uh, we'll hang out together. I also should be doing some color soon as well. Um, so let me know if there's any color, color techniques you guys want to learn. Um, and that's it. All right, guys. Thanks so much. And I will see you later. What do we say at the end of the show? It's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great day. See you guys. Day. Chop it, clip it, spray it, flip it. I woke up this way. It's going to be a great day. Chop it, clip it, spray it, flip it. Let me show you the way. It's going to be a great day. Chop it, clip it, spray it, flip it. I woke up this way. It's gonna be a great day. Chop it, clip it, spray it, flip it. Let me show you the way.